Okay. Okay, open the refrigerator. Pull. Very good. There it is. You are strong. You think you can get it up there? Let mommy help you. <laughs> okay, mommy will pour it for you. Okay. You gotta go online and order you some more. Multi. Morning. So I found a really good recipe that is a grain-free bread that I really liked. I used it to make breadcrumbs uh, for my dressing for Thanksgiving. And because I ran out of all the ingredients I needed, I haven't yeah. made it and actually tried to use it as a sandwich bread yet. So now that I have what I need, I'm gonna make it and be able to have some toast, which is something I've been desiring for a long time. Uh, a sandwich with it maybe, if it holds together as well as I hope it does. So it's called cassava uh, rosemary bread. And I'm gonna see if I can find where, I'm sure I'll be able to find this and uh, link it below for you. But that's what I'm gonna try to make this morning. I'm gonna get Conrad some breakfast and I'm gonna try to make this. I'm gonna put out some toys for Conrad to play with so that he will let me cook this morning. So I'm gonna get some puzzles. We're running out of space with the puzzles here. We've got puzzles stacked on top of there. Um, <clears throat> so you've already gotten out your cars. Yeah. We've already got three puzzles out already that we didn't put away last night. This is um, a remote donated by my sister when my son had a remote control obsession. Mm -hmm. I've been giving him the same breakfast all week. I just, and last week, I lost all my inspiration. Um, and he's been so picky, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Dear God, thank you for our food. Amen. Good. Okay. I've got some parchment paper lining the bottom, and so I'm just gonna pour the batter in.
four dainty tickles over wiggly wet hands. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> dainty tickles. Yeah. Five tapping tickles on a tiny tender tummy. As you can see, it doesn't rise hardly, um, but a lot of the grain-free breads I've tried don't really rise um, very much. So back before I discovered my nut allergy, I had turned to nut flowers, and um, I found some breads that, uh, that will rise with the nut flowers. And I was just pouring nuts into my body, not knowing um, I had a nut allergy. And then I started to have all these bad things happen. And um, But ever since, I have not been able to find a recipe where the bread rises uh, at a decent uh, height. So, I don't know. We'll see how this tastes. But if you happen to know um, any recipes that I could try... Um, yeah, just leave a comment below. I would love to give it a try because I'm always looking for something new to try. When I made this for Thanksgiving, it rose more than this. Not a whole lot, but more than this. And at the time, I didn't have the arrowroot powder. I had, um, I used xanthan gum. So maybe that would be better than arrowroot powder. So maybe the next time I try it, I'll switch it out and see what happens. Uh-oh. That's a nice form though. It tastes like a nice sandwich bread. Like it would hold together really nice as a sandwich bread. It has a really nice flavor. The um the rosemary tastes really nice in it. Maybe um instead of that half cup of um that extra half cup of cassava flour, I add tiger nut or um banana. I'll give it more of a rise because I guess you can make a little tiny skinny sandwich out of this. I think it would have done better with a really skinny tiny bread pan compared to my normal sized bread pan. Okay, Conrad, it's time for school. Okay, I'm going to go to school. I hope you join me. Bye-bye. Tiger. All right, next one. Ready? T. T, T, T. Tulip. It's a type of flower. Very good. T. T, T. That looks really nice. What animals do you see? Bird. Bird. What's that? Giraffe. Giraffe. What's that? So we have these jars that we don't use anymore. We don't use them for anything really. And I was just gonna put them in the Goodwill box, but I thought why not use them um, as a um, holder for toothbrushes in the master bathroom. So I'm gonna paint them. Um, Cause I still have all this leftover paint. I'm gonna move mix it, I think some sort of purple color maybe, and paint them and see how it goes. It's kind of a really light purple right now, which is kind of good because that's um, close to the colors in our bathroom, it's kind of like a gray.
So I'm making the savory bread pudding recipe for my husband and my son. It's from the Instant Pot Healthy Cookbook recipe book. And um, this is my first time making it. I'm going to be putting it into the bundt pan um, that's um, sized for the Instant Pot. And we're going to see how it turns out. It's eggs, cheese, cubed sourdough bread, and some ham. They also suggest Canadian bacon. Um, but yeah, we're gonna put some ham in it and some hot sauce, salt and pepper. I have to say that times like these make me a little bit sad because um, of my food allergies. I spend a good amount of time in the kitchen cooking really delicious food that I cannot eat. Um, but since my husband and my son do not have the allergies that I have, um, I don't want to restrict them to my diet. And this um, bread pudding smelled so heavenly. It smelled like baked mac and cheese mixed in with bacon or something. It just smelled amazing. And um, my husband said it tasted really amazing too. <laughs> so um, I try to uh, keep a cool head about it, but this evening was a bit depressing. <laughs> well, keep calm and carry on, as they say. And you're